the Thomas Wooden Railway is sadly ending. With incoming Thomas Wood, it's easy to look upon the glory days of the once was. In this series, we'll be taking a quick look at items and purchases that truly represent the brand's name. This is Throwback Thomas. Welcome back to another installment of TBT. Today we'll be looking at Emily. Originally released in 2004, Emily has continued her time on the shelves all the way up to the release of the new Thomas Wood line. Sporting an emerald green livery, Emily is one to stand out among the rest. Her paintwork and details are wonderful, especially the gold lining and gold dome. Her design is very simplistic, though I do think that Emily is one of the most least accurate models released by Learning Curve. The proportions are off, the face isn't even close, Emily and her tender are both missing a pair of wheels, and many more. But yet, everyone loves her. I'm not saying I don't, because she is still one of the most nostalgic characters I own. And maybe that's it. Everyone loves Emily's TWR model, just out of the nostalgia. I remember how I got my Emily. It was in a yogurt company's promotion, and if you sent back a certain amount of lids, you got an Emily or a Thomas. Of course, the Emily that I'm showing you right now is not the one I had as a child, for that one is scratched and beat up and well played with. 2004 was a really good but interesting year for the TWR line. Spencer and Murdoch were released, some of the best from Learning Curve, but also the white-wheeled Reneas and Emily were released too. I think it's just pure nostalgia for everyone, and I'm aboard that train as well. Now her TV series character is a topic for a video all on its own. I had loved her character in Season 7, but Season 8 really threw it off. Season 7, she was new, eager, caring, friendly, and didn't know Sodor all too well. Season 8, she became bossy, thought she was better than some of the others, and always wanting to help, but even she was being rude about it. Then again, it's nostalgic for me nonetheless. Nostalgia was really a key point in this video, so that's what I must base Emily off of. Pure nostalgia. I know it might seem like a lackluster way to review things, but then again, nostalgia really brings out the best of us. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tell me your opinions of Emily in the comments below. I would love to hear if you like or dislike this model, and I will see you in the next video.